Resident Evil 4. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. All right, this is uh, Resident Evil Four on the Switch. Just getting used to the balls. It would be really nice if it had the gyro controls. Well, I had originally intended to uh, play this on professional, uh, just for the challenge, but uh, it didn't seem to give me the option. I guess you can't start on it. Uh, you gotta beat the game first. Which, uh, I don't know, that could end up being probably a good idea. Uh, I did... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got this game as a kid uh, when it first came out uh, on the GameCube. Uh, it was very soon after release, I think. Uh, which I'm not 100% sure why I got it because I don't typically care for well I didn't really care for the Resident Evil games at that point uh, I think this is probably the first one that I ever played Probably a good idea, I'm not on professional. Yeah, so when I got it as a kid, uh, I ended up, I played it a ton. Like, I beat it in, I don't know, like a couple days, and then uh, beat it again and again, and uh, ended up beating it on professional, just playing the mercenaries a ton. That way. Uh, I don't think the GameCube version had the assignment Ada or any of that, but I did end up, uh, it had the mercenaries, which yeah, I, I played that just nonstop. Oh, that was insane. Uh, I got all the, I don't know, the five stars with every character in every level. Maybe wasting so much ammo. Go well, I guess the game's pretty easy, so that's not a big deal. Yeah, when you're doing professional, you really ought to be uh, 
you know, economical with your ammo. Oh, to reload. Can't be doing that. Uh, yeah, I remember it took me quite a while to beat professional. There was several times when I got stuck. Ended up just having to like redo the section over and over because you know I was in some really difficult area with you know basically oh, geez. doing that by accident. Yeah, I kept being in you know some really difficult area with no ammo and having to just run through and you know knife everyone. Yeah, I, I don't remember if I said it. this is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I just think it's, I don't know, it's so good. I don't know, it's probably the biggest game that is, I would say, close to perfect. Uh, but there's other games I like more, like Dark Souls or whatever, but you know, Dark Souls has a lot of other problems. Like later in the game, it gets kind of bad, and you know, but this. You know, some of the later areas in this, they are, you know, a little bit worse. It does kind of start to drag, I think. But on the whole, it's, you know, it doesn't get that bad. Everything about it, the controls, everything, I think they're really good. Like, I know, uh, uh, just recently there was the, uh, remake was announced, uh, which I think is completely unnecessary. Uh, I think the game is, you know, it's fine. Uh, you know, people complain about the tank controls, but they work perfect with the game. Like, all the levels and everything. Uh, you know, it's all designed around the controls, so I don't think they're really that bad. good idea that I'm not doing uh, professional right now, I think. Gotta get in here. Yeah, so I don't think the remake is necessary. Uh, I kind of doubt it will be better or as good as this. And, you know, I I know people say like, oh, well, you know, the original game is always going to exist, so what does it matter if they remake it? But unless the remake ends up being, like, absolute garbage, uh, there is kind of the risk that the remake ends up replacing it. Like, you know, 10 years from now, uh, you know, when the PS6 is out or whatever, there's a good chance that they're not going to port this one to it. You know, that they'll just keep porting the remake, even if it is worse. I think that's kind of the, you know, the problem with those.
Oh, that was a waste. I misjudged the uh, distance that would actually go. Be a good idea to, I don't know, remap that. I guess I'll probably get used to it, but uh, I'm playing with a uh, Super Nintendo style controller. Uh, and so the problem is the button that was in the same place as the B button on the GameCube controller, which would be reload, uh, it doubles as a, you know, as the action button for shooting and stuff. So I keep accidentally pressing it when I should be pressing, like, the other button to do the actual reload. Uh oh. Oof. That was close. Yeah, I'm doing pretty bad. I made it through at least. So I'll just uh, run around here and get everything I can. Yeah, I did, uh, did very poorly there. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I, I played it a ton as a kid and then, you know, haven't played it really much uh, since then. Uh, Although I do play it, you know, every couple of years or so, at least. Um, I think it was probably two or three years ago I played the PC version. Uh, but since then, I haven't. Yeah, it was kind of the, the talk about the, uh, you know, the remake of this and then the... Uh, I guess the VR version that's coming out too, and the uh, Resident Evil Village, you know, all that kind of got me thinking about it again, and I thought it'd be a good game to play since I do know it somewhat well, and, uh, you know, it's kind of more difficult to play through games that I haven't played before, because, uh, you know, talking and playing at the same time can be a bit difficult. Yeah, so speaking of the VR version, uh, I mean, it's only coming out on the, uh, it was the Oculus 2, which I don't have, so unfortunately I won't be playing it. Uh, yeah, it really is too bad it's only coming out on that. I would play it if it was coming out on, like, 
PSVR or uh, PC, but uh, I guess I won't. Didn't? Why did I just... Oh, okay. Uh, I guess when I kicked it, uh, it shattered the uh, bookshelf or whatever that was in front of it. Uh, I thought the door had shattered, and then I wondered why it was unshattered. Oh, yeah, I just always slash twice uh, in case there's a snake. I know this game's pretty famous for like the uh, you know self-adjusting difficulty where the AI and stuff uh, changes as you're doing better and worse. Uh, but I don't remember if the like ammo drops and stuff change. I guess I can't uh, jump out of there. I see something shiny up there. Yes, that's pretty much everything in here. I thought there was a uh, the beer stein or whatever. I guess that's the next kind of section. Uh, and I guess the blue medallions, they don't appear for a little bit. Maybe you can knife it. It's not.
Huh. I don't remember there being a dog in here. I could get closer. So anyways, I guess going on with the other Resident Evils, uh, this was the first one that I played. Uh, I never played any of the other ones because I had a uh, N64 and then a GameCube, which uh, I guess some of them did come out on N64, but I think they were primarily a PlayStation series. Uh, plus, I just wasn't that into horror games at the time. Uh, I did eventually, I think on the GameCube, or maybe it was the Wii, uh, there was a remake of one of the early ones, and I played a little bit of it, but uh, still not really a lot. Uh, I think it was maybe Zero or Veronica that I played. Uh, it was the one that starts off on a train with uh, uh, the criminal guy and the girl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the beer stein is uh, around here somewhere. Yeah, uh, this is it. Hitting the wrong button. Right there. That's uh, kind of it for this area. There's much more. Uh, gotta jump over here. Wait, is that? Uh... So this is where I need Ashley. Gotta go through here, I think. I should just 
double check those uh, blue medallion spots. Uh, I didn't realize they were marked on the map. nice if there was a easier way to just bring up the map. Alright, okay, wait, I got three, and I think one of them's on the other side of the, uh, the gate. I need to, uh, bring Ashley over, so, uh, I guess I do have them all. So I'll just keep going. Uh, plus I don't think, I don't know if I'll use the gun that you get for them anyways. I think this is the rock. Yeah. That's the one thing I don't really care for is all the uh, quick time events. I think that's really kind of the one spot where, you know, the game is kind of showing its age. It came out kind of at the peak of that whole, uh, you know, everything's got to be cinematic and full of quick time events and stuff. He's really jittery. This gun. be dead many times over it's professional
right, there's one one. Feeble humans. Now. I just save it every typewriter. I really hate losing progress. So. I guess that's one thing I really love about the Souls games is, you know, it doesn't just reset you to your last checkpoint. It's like, you know, it moves you back to the bonfire, but you still keep your experience or your souls and items you picked up and stuff. Uh, yeah, I really don't care for just you know, the reset to the checkpoint thing. Got a selection of There's been more than a few games where I've, you know, gotten really into the game and forgotten to save and played for a couple hours and then died. What and then just, then? like, given up because I'm not going to, you know, replay eight hours worth of stuff or whatever. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? Okay. Not sure how you uh, join those. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Now, one thing I don't remember, uh, I don't know if I've ever figured out, is like, uh, are the weapons all kind of equal? Like, can the rifle carry you to the end of the game? Uh, I guess maybe I'll try that. I think. Yeah, maybe I'll just keep the uh, the first weapons. Hopefully, this isn't a mistake. Not enough cash, stranger. Oh, yeah. Just checking my uh, current ammo. Buying? Right, I was hoping there was an accuracy uh, boost for this. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. I thought that would be enough to kill him.
Now I noticed the smart thing to do with the TMP is uh, you don't kill them with it, you just uh, stun them uh, and you kick them and then you knife them. Or if you're hunk in the mercenaries, you neck break them all. But that would have been a cool thing for them to add to the game, would be uh, if you could play through the entire game just as like... Uh, hunk, Ada, uh, Wesker, and uh, whoever the other guy was. A weapon wheel would be nice if they added that. Maybe making it so that opening the menu didn't pause the game, that would be a good addition, I think.
I guess uh, after Resident Evil 4, uh, well, I guess uh, the next ones I played was the uh, the gallery shooting ones on the Wii. Uh, I forget what they were called. Uh, Dark Side Chronicles and whatever the other one was. Uh, I played both of them. They were pretty fun. Oh, this is bad. This route. I remember they kind of take you through like the entire series. I don't think they were like their own stories. They were just kind of like a, I don't know, a quick rehash of the series or something. Play them two player, which was fun. I don't know where all these guys come from. Then eventually I played uh, 5, which I think 5 was actually pretty good. Like, uh, I know it's got a pretty bad reputation, but, you know, I think it's, it's a bit worse in basically every way than 4. But, uh, you know, being a bit worse than 4 in every way, still, you know, in the end, that's a pretty good game. Uh, and the... Okay, I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, I played through uh, five uh, co-op the entire way. Uh, which probably helped. Uh, I've heard the... Uh, computer AI is not very good in it. Uh, but playing through co-op is a lot of fun. Uh, the only thing is I was playing as uh, Chris the entire time. I think he's he's just way too big. He like takes up the entire screen. Right, I think everybody's dead now. Well, except of course there'll be like one guy who you know, is hiding somewhere to jump scare you, but uh, they're mostly all dead now.
so after five, um, well, I guess there's six, of course. Uh, I never ended up playing six. I heard it was really not that great, and you no, know, it didn't look that great either. Uh, not sure what else to say about it. Uh, although, of course, after that came uh, Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, and I know people were really kind of hyping it up, like, oh, it's, you know, Resident Evil's good again. Uh, I didn't like it at all. I found it was, I don't know, it, it seemed to be like the worst of all the Resident Evils kind of combined. Like, it had the over-the-top action stuff that wasn't scary at all. Like, it was just, you know, it was all the cheesy action from 4, but just turned up to the point where it was just, you know, ridiculous. Uh, uh, it didn't have, like, any horror. Uh, it was extremely linear. Uh, the puzzles or whatever were, you know, they were like fours where they weren't really even puzzles. They were just, you know, you gather the items and then... Uh, and then, you know, use them. Like, there wasn't any thinking. It was just you run around and gather all the stuff. I also found like the difficulty was very uneven like I think the only time I ended up dying was to like you know kind of cheesy one hit kill bosses and stuff like that
so I never ended up playing Resident Evil uh, Revelations 2. Uh, you know, after 1, I was just like, okay, this, you know, there's no point in playing this, because I heard that, you know, it's basically just the same as 1. You know, it was along the same lines of it anyways. For this part, your inventory is never big enough to carry all the fish. I really like the inventory system. I wish more games would do something like this. I need uh, four spots. There's a person in here. Oh, well, I guess not.
I like how ominous it is when, you know, you just pick up a random key and it's like... Da da da. Pretty sure if I go back through there, uh, I'm gonna get killed. Interrupt this guy. Shoulder buttons on this controller, I think they're a bit, uh, I don't know, finicky. I gotta really hold it down, otherwise it lets go. That's why I keep knifing them once, and then uh, putting the knife away. I guess I'll go get the grenade uh, in a second after I uh, use a whole pile of ammo here. For some reason I thought there was a larger group that attacked you there, like with two chainsaw guys or something. Yeah, I do wish this had gyro aim, uh, like the, you know, the Wii version, it was really good because it had, uh, you know, the gyro aim and you could also, uh, you could use a GameCube controller on it as well. that was something people didn't seem to really know like a lot of people thought that the Wii version you had to use the Wii remote but uh, there was a way in it to use the uh, GameCube controller yeah 
And this fish is really taking up a lot of inventory. I really hope I find the merchant soon so I can offload the fish. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do sell for quite a bit. So it is worth it. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, that was nice. Uh, there's a, I think there's two chainsaw guys here. Or another chainsaw guy, at least. Hmm, or not. up on that fish.
Uh, though I, I think the merchant is down here, actually. Hold on to it for a bit longer. What are you selling? Is that all strange? Uh, never mind. Is that all? <laughs> not that much money. That I probably shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> Thank you. Is but it was more for some reason. <laughs> ah, I'll buy it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is it? I guess uh, if I'm gonna use these ones till the end, might as well get all the upgrades for them. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all strength? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> that? What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you selling? What are you buying? All right, that's everything there. Oh, there's no uh, E on there. I guess, uh, okay, you gotta actually equip it. I suppose that's kind of wasteful. Odd. I haven't seen a single snake yet.
Doing this does something. All right, good. I can't, re I can't believe I uh, remembered which ones to do there. Did I miss, uh, I don't know if I missed that blue one there or not.
you do, uh, they do disappear when you shoot them. Okay, so I am missing four in there, apparently. Uh, oh well. Uh, later I get back in here and then go around with Ashley, so... Uh, I can just get them then. Big deal. I think it's almost time for El Gigantes. Oh, that was bad. I should get that. Selling. Is that old? Is that old? Is that old? Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Hmm, okay. I thought for some reason you had to shoot all the medallions to get it. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you selling? Well, I'm gonna keep using the regular handgun. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that old? <laughs> Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? stop there for today. Uh, the recording's probably going to get a bit long. I had planned to go till like, I don't know, chapter two or till I got Ashley or whatever, but uh, I think that'll be a little bit longer, maybe another half hour, so I think I'll stop there.